my brothers and sisters, sustaining spiritual growth and continuing throughout the rest of the year post Ramadan is something that the entire month of Ramadan has been set for. So one of the main purposes of Ramadan, if you look at the Quran, Allah says, we have prescribed and made compulsory for you the fasting, just like we have to those before you. Kutiba alaykum as-siyam kama kutiba ala alladheena min qablikum. And he says, la'allakum tattaqoon. In order that you achieve taqwa, God consciousness, or piety, or the fear of Allah, or the consciousness of Allah, all of that is included in the term taqwa. I need to jump on to a new level of relationship with my maker. That is the reason why Ramadan is set there. It is a specific time period. We know it's one lunar month, either 29 or, or 30 days. And similarly, the nights have been given greater value than the day, even though the fasting happens through the day. That's something unique. You look at the most powerful days of the year. You have the day of Arafah. You look at the most powerful nights of the year, the night Laylatul Qadr. So there we go. The most powerful day is not in Ramadan, but the most powerful night is in Ramadan. The way Allah has planned and designed this beautiful month is such that we would definitely be softened. It is time span enough for us to be able to change our ways and habits. And then just as we begin to feel the effects wearing off, Allah gives us another season and another season until we get another Ramadan in 11 months. So 11 months after this Ramadan will be another Ramadan. Now between the two Ramadan, what should we be doing? We must make sure we don't go back on our achievements. Obviously, there is no fasting outside of Ramadan the way it is in Ramadan. But try and keep up a little bit of the Sunnah fasting. Monday and Thursday, it's very beneficial. Try and fast the 13th, 14th and 15th of the lunar month. Not only will it give you the reward of having fasted because each fast is multiplied by 10. So if you fast the 13th, 14th and 15th, it's equivalent to having fasted the entire month. And if you do that every month, it's equivalent to you having fasted the whole year.